hello guys you're welcome back thanks for clicking so this blonde girl stuns muslim so let's check it out assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh brothers and sisters and dear friends imagine you're on instagram and you just randomly come across this video now what would your first impression be so just let's have a good look at this Because yeah okay so this sister may Allah bless her you see her and once you see her what is the first thing that comes to your mind now i'll be very frank and very honest when i see this video or if i wasn't not to play it there's a lot of things that would come to my mind for example i would have think and i'm just have to be honest mm -hmm. here i would have think that it's just a non-muslim yeah. girl um she might be someone who does i don't know fitness uh she might be someone that's talking about um you know cryptocurrency maybe i don't know yeah um uh, she might be someone that goes clubbing on the yes, weekend uh fun. she might be someone that's just into having fun in life uh yolo you live um, you only live once um so we generalize a lot and a lot of people does do this with us muslims as well now let's see what this video was actually about because this shows us a massive massive lesson mm. Let's watch that video and let's come back and learn some key lessons, inshallah. So I think the number one most important thing is you put the intention out there. So like for me, I have the intention, I will not go to bed, rest or relax unless I do my five for the day because I really, truly don't think I deserve to lay my head down and go to sleep unless I've given the creator the time that he oh, wow. is deserved and owed, to be honest. So set your intention because if you don't have that intention, you're never going to do it make your plans around prayer so like i am common and you have to know the prayer times to do that so download in a than app get familiar with the prayer mm, times I'm and when impressed. you go to make plans for example like if you're gonna hang out with your friends wait until isha that goes off pray your isha you go have fun for the rest of the night you don't have to worry about it and i think like another really important tip is just get off your phone put your phone down stop distracting yourself because these distractions are gonna do us in okay so if you haven't prayed yet get off your phone and go do your salah so guys as you saw for yourself mm. like when i even showed that to my wife and i said looking at this video like you know this girl what comes to your mind she was like you know maybe someone that likes to have fun outgoing party someone that's a party girl etc and i was like wow like you know we generalize and i did this before in speaker's corner as well sadly you know it's not something that we want to do but it's just you know maybe we're just conditioned or whatever it may be okay i saw a a um sister for example because i was giving dower leafless house etc so i saw a sister with blonde hair etc standing there and i thought let me give it to her and then the brother came and said oh she's a muslim and i was like oh my gosh like the thing is yeah obviously I'm not to blame because I'm giving Dao material, do you get it? And I'm looking at, like, to me, anyone that has a beard or looks like a bit of a Muslim, there's, you can't really say it's, there's a specific person that looks mm. like a Muslim. Of course, you have the symbols, etc. But isn't it amazing that so beautiful and heartwarming that Muslims all over the world, especially in the West, a lot of women are flocking to Islam, yeah? A lot of women are flocking to Islam, alhamdulillah, because Islam gives the rights of a woman in the right way and honors her. So this sister, when she was speaking and she was talking about I do my five a day and I'm thinking five a day. I'm thinking, okay, you know, apple, oranges, make sure she's, she has a five a day. And then <clears throat> when I saw it and she was talking about prayer, prayer I was like, damn, well, like, like, subhanAllah. Like, firstly, I was so happy. Secondly, it made me realize, you know what, Ali, don't judge ever people. think or judge people and think, you like know what, looks... this person's not. Wallahi, you guys do not know. Yeah. If we saw that sister walking down the road or some brothers, they'll be looking and thinking, oh, she's probably like this or like that. She's probably one of these girls. You know nothing mm. about it, and that's why it's so important to not to have negative yeah. assumptions. Allah says in the Quran that even negative assumptions can be a sin. We should assume the best. Who would have thought that this is a sister who prays her salah five times a day and she's given a reminder that we should all pray our salah? Who would have thought that? Who would have thought that? None of us. Do not ever judge a sister who wears a hijab mm -hmm. or doesn't wear the hijab. You do not know the affairs. The same with a brother. A brother who might be dressed to play in a certain way, has an earring, whatever it may be. We should never judge. Yeah. And this is what this exactly taught me. And it was such a beautiful thing to see that Muslims come from in different shapes and different colors. And alhamdulillah. And what really stood out to me is that her dedication to her salah. We have... Don't forget guys, we do have people, individuals who may observe the hijab and the niqab but don't pray salah. So it's very important for us and I'm not belittling mm -hmm. that, oh we should not wear the hijab. No, we should do that also as well. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy on this river sister. Inshallah one day she'll wear the hijab as well. But salah is so key in her life that she has acknowledged it. 
brothers and sisters, this is what I wanted to share with you guys. I found it beautiful. How did you find it? And what was your first impressions? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe not, it's maybe best not to share maybe first impressions, but hope you learned a lesson uh, as much as I did. And may Allah bless her. Please, I'm going to send this video to her as well. May Allah keep you firm, sister. My dear sister, may Allah bless you with the best in this life and hereafter. And keep you uh, going, inshallah, with these amazing reminders. And keep firm to your salah. You're going to have your ups and downs. I'm going to go. Till next time, brothers and sisters, inshallah. Let's not judge anybody based on how they look, whatever, however, they, however they look, um, and whatever the appearance they may, they may be. Because they might be more close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than you and me. Well, that actually rhymed. Till next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wow, I was also stunned, guys. I was impressed. I was surprised. Like, uh, when the man said, Oh, what can you say about this lady? Normally, you know, when people see such people, such ladies, or when they see they are dressed in a manner, they'll think you are ungodly, you don't know God, you're a party person. You know, the same way people judge by your stature, by the way you look, they'll be like, Ah, it seems. So don't judge book by the cover. Like sometimes when people see me, they'll be like, oh, you'll be a person that loves to go for clubbing. And I was like, I don't like clubbing. I don't even appreciate such things. So, you know, people tend to, you know, conclude by your looks because she's wearing blonde hair, you know, her skin color. You know, there are some people that they will not even want to give you a benefit of doubt. Immediately they see you like this, they will conclude from their mind and they will not want to get to know you, they will not want to ask questions, they will not want to, you know, listen, you know, come close to you and get to know, hear from you or listen to what you have to say. You get it? That's why they said, never judge the book by, the, by its cover. You know, what you're seeing from the outside is not what the person might be carrying from the inside. Like you said, the man said, there are some people that they might be wearing hijab, but they might not be praying five times daily. They might not even be, you know, you know, doing these religious things. Why some people that are not overly religious, they are the ones that you see that, you know, they don't, you know, they don't miss out time to pray to God, to thank God. So it's not saying that, People that wear hijab are not really just people, but it's just trying to tell us that, you know, never, never judge a book by cover. Don't let, don't conclude that, oh, this is how the person is. He said, he also showed the video to the wife and the wife also concluded in her mind that, ah, this is how she should be. This, she should be this kind of person. And she was also surprised to see that she's a devoted Muslim, you know. So this, this is a lesson to all of us because if you, do, if you just conclude, you don't know whether that person is your destiny helper, let's leave the religious aside safe. You don't know whether that person will be your destiny helper, that person will help you or you know, give you business ideas or something. So before you conclude, you know, move closer to the person, you know, have a conversation, hear what the person has to say. You know, there are some people that they just love to dress to please themselves. You get it. They just want to look good. So they don't say anything bad in them dressing, you know, too flashy or too fine. I don't know if the, what I said makes sense. No, too attractive. Yes. That was a beautiful one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.